Music Guy is asking, what makes atheists side with far-right ideologies and ignore the very clear red flags? Interesting point or question. Um, you know, there might be studies on this. Um, well, there are definitely studies that people who are more drawn to the right or conservatism have more of um, a fear basis. They're very reactive to um, fearful rhetoric. Um, and we, we see this across like different types of people. So maybe atheists who have uh, more of a bent towards the far right were already had some sort of predisposition to this. Um, if I'm going to speak more broadly, I think it's because um, while there are a lot of studies that um, people who have left religion or just non-religious people are more left-leaning, um, especially for people who've left religion, like you need to find a new way to structure your life. And I think the far right ideology um, will market itself or purport to have the answers that people are looking for in how to have a good society. So they're saying, well, I don't think, you know, God and God's rules will lead us towards having a good society. But I think, you know, very um, strict traditionalism will help our societies because we'll have higher birth rates and women should get back in the kitchen because we need, you know, kids and stuff like that. Like, I think um, uh, I'm speculating that it's just a bent towards wanting structure in one's life. And that's obviously a very structured, uh, stratified way of living your life yeah you're saying so you're thinking that these people who left religion they're looking for some other form of structure so they look into that they look for structure and traditionalism and these right-leaning groups might provide that traditionalism to them that's very interesting um i also do want to remind people that atheist people are not special <laughs> okay so whatever makes other people fall for far-right ideologies I mean, actually, other than, you know, I think what Susanna is saying is very interesting and it might be true for atheists in a way that it's not true for other people, okay? But I also do want to highlight the fact that we shouldn't think of atheists as this special group of people who are just intelligent and shouldn't be falling for bad ideas, okay? Because getting the answer to one question correct doesn't make you so different from other people and doesn't make give you any form of immunity for falling for other bad ideas, right? So, you know, you got the question, of, is there evidence for the existence of God? No. Oh, congratulations. You got that answer right. Does it, that doesn't mean you're not going to get, you know, there's so many other stupid ideas out there and you're going to, you atheists could fall for them just like other people, right? So there's that. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.